Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. You know, these are the words that were shouted as Jesus triumphantly entered Jerusalem, humble and riding on a donkey, one week before his resurrection. As Jesus, a long awaited Messiah and chosen Christ, entered into his holy city of Jerusalem, the Jewish people shouted, Hosanna, literally meaning, please save and deliver us. Laying down their cloaks or their outer garments and palm branches to respect and welcome him. Pretty much they gave him the red carpet treatment before the red carpet became popular. Yet unfortunately, the king whom they thought they were welcoming was arriving to establish and lay the foundation for a different type of kingdom. The Jews wanted to be saved from Roman oppression and to be exalted as God's chosen people. But Jesus was coming to save them and deliver them spiritually from the bondage of sin and the oppression of Satan. These same people who welcomed him with royal treatment on Palm Sunday shouted for him to be crucified only five days later on Good Friday. Church, as we begin Holy Week, the last seven days of Jesus' time on earth, let us not seek a Savior we so desire, but let us rest and rejoice knowing that our Savior, Jesus Christ, has come to seek and to save us, as stated in Luke chapter 19, verse 10. Will you join me for our time of prayer this morning? Holy Father God, we praise and thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, Jesus, we thank you for coming and committing to be faithful to your Father until the end. Please, Holy Spirit, we pray this morning, change our mindset to meet the mission Jesus is sending us on through his commissioning. Let our hearts be opened to the truth of his word, the hope of his calling, the love of his coming, and the sacrificial price he paid in giving his life. We honor and worship you, Lord Jesus, in your precious and holy name we ask these things. Amen.